Have you ever thought that an extra seat in the cockpit of a fighter jet could revolutionize the game of future air combat? The first public appearance of the world's first two-seat stealth fifth-generation fighter, the J-20S, at the September 3rd military parade, marking the 80th anniversary of the victory in the Chinese People's War of Resistance against Japanese aggression and the world anti-fascist war, was just such an epic-making moment, not just the simple addition of an extra seat, but a revolutionary change in the mode of air combat from single aircraft is king, to system coordination. It marks a revolutionary shift in air combat mode from single aircraft is king, to system coordination, and has even been hailed by defense observers as a trend-setting, fifth and a half generation fighter. The tandem two-seat design of the J-20S is not a traditional layout for trainer or weapon operation. Its rear cockpit is innovatively designed as a drone control seat, enabling the J-20S to become an air brain that commands multiple drones in coordinated operations. This design allows the J-20S to command large unmanned wingmen, small and medium-sized reconnaissance drones, and even suicide drones on the battlefield in the future, forming a coordinated system of manned and unmanned combat. For example, it can command heavy unmanned wingmen like the Fi Hong 97 to carry out high-risk reconnaissance and strike missions, and these unmanned aircraft can even act as air shields for manned fighters when necessary, significantly increasing the probability of survival. Because there is no need to consider the pilot factor, the design of these drones can be more extreme pursuit of stealth performance, and its radar reflective cross-sectional area is even smaller than that of manned warplanes, thus forming an asymmetric advantage in air combat. From a technical point of view, the backseat pilot of the J-20S assumes the key role of battlefield manager. Through three large area touch screens and a voice command system, he is able to monitor the status of up to 12 drones at the same time and assign tasks with the assistance of artificial intelligence. The system uses a neuron-like distributed architecture that allows the swarm to maintain 80% of its operational effectiveness through self-organizing networks, even if some of the data links are jammed. The backseat pilots are also specialized in planning electronic countermeasures missions, and through the onboard multifunctional electronic warfare system, they are able to carry out precise jamming and even hard kills on enemy radars. The combat capability of the J-20S benefits from its strong technical support. Some batches have been equipped with turbofan 15 engines and binary vectoring nozzles, enabling them to maintain a Mach 1.6 cruise without power-up, and their sustained supercruise capability is even better than that of the F-22's Mach 1.5. In terms of range, the combat radius has exceeded 2,000 kilometers when only using internal fuel, if the external four 2,400-liter secondary fuel tanks, and with the oil 20 for two air refueling, the theoretical maximum range can be close to 6,000 kilometers. This means that it can take off from the hinterland of East China and cover the ocean west of Guam without any transit, which really realizes the strategic level deterrence capability. In terms of weapon system, the depth of the J-20S's bomb bay has been increased by 18 centimeters, allowing it to mount a new generation of 500-kilogram class glide-guided bombs and Hawk 9-1E anti-ship missiles, as well as an interface with an underwing electronic warfare pod, which allows it to independently carry out concomitant jamming missions in high-threat areas. Its head on radar reflection cross-sectional area is still less than 0.01 square meters, the same as the single-seat J-20 thanks to the integrated curved metal coating technology for the cockpit cover and the integration of the rear cockpit cover with the fuselage lines has been greatly improved. In addition, the new distributed optical aperture system lens set on the back of the aircraft realizes 360-degree monitoring without dead angle, and with the new generation of helmet display, the pilot can lock the target in any direction just by turning his head. As an air combat note of the J-20S, equivalent to the soccer field, the core of the midfield, can deal with the information from their own sensors, and sensors outside the aircraft, comprehensive judgment of the situation, command other aircraft combat. According to military expert Fuki Anshan, combined with its many advanced sensors, J-20S will have a very strong battlefield situational awareness capability, equivalent to a small early warning aircraft. Hong Yuan, a military expert, pointed out that J-20S is a multifaceted player that can interfere, command, collect intelligence, and even lead drone attacks, playing the role of informationization, intelligence, manned and unmanned strike command platform. This ability to make the traditional need for early warning aircraft, electronic warfare aircraft and four escort fighters to complete the task, now only a J-20S lead six drones, can do, not only greatly enhance the operational efficiency, 
but also compressed the logistic support link more than 30%. In the actual battle, J20S can lead the UAV group to carry out the integrated mission of detecting, fighting, and evaluating. For example, in the battle to seize the island, 4J20S can command 24 attack drones to carry out precision strikes on 20 key targets within 10 minutes, and the combat effectiveness is equivalent to that of the first wave of assault of a traditional aviation brigade. The drone swarm can go forward 500 kilometers to carry out reconnaissance missions and transmit images back to the J20S in real time which will then be distributed by the backseat pilots to various combat units. Even if it encounters strong electromagnetic interference, the UAV swarm can continue to carry out its mission through preset programs, greatly enhancing the system's resistance to destruction. The manned-unmanned, coordinated combat mode brought about by the J-20S has actually surpassed that of traditional fifth-generation fighters such as the in-service F-22, F-35, and Su-57 and possesses some of the characteristics of sixth-generation fighters. The U.S. Air Force found in a 2024 wargaming exercise that when an adversary has more than 105th and a half-generation fighters that can command loyal wingmen, the survival rate of a U.S. carrier battle group within the first island chain plummets to 38 percent. Currently, the F-22 has been discontinued. The F-35 single-seat design is inherently inadequate. The F-47 program, the only U.S. counterpart, is still in the conceptual stage, and the two-seat version of the Russian Su-57 is only in the modeling stage. During the 2025-2030 period, the J-20S could rapidly take shape with its production capacity advantage of 120 annual deliveries, and once the number exceeds 300, the balance of air power in Asia will be irreversibly tilted. From a more macroscopic perspective, the J-20S reflects the change in thinking of the Chinese Air Force from a kill chain to a kill network. In the traditional chain, the breakage of a ring will lead to the collapse of the whole system, while in the net-like structure, each node can replace each other. J20S can be used as a door kicker, can also temporarily play a small early warning aircraft, even if the host is damaged. Its command of the unmanned aircraft group can still be preset rules to continue to carry out the task. This decentralized combat capability is the U.S. Air Force, next generation air superiority, program to pursue the goal. At the same time, this change also brings new challenges, the need to train both proficient flight and good at unmanned aircraft command of the composite pilots, the development of new tactical orders, as well as the establishment of manned-unmanned formations to adapt to the logistical support system. Notably, the emergence of the J-20S could also change the way air power is employed. In peacetime, it can lead unmanned aircraft on long-term patrol missions, dramatically reducing pilot fatigue. In times of crisis, its deterrent power comes not only from the aircraft itself, but also from the advanced combat system behind it. This kind of system confrontation thinking is the highest form of modern air warfare development. Therefore, the official launch of J-20S not only demonstrates the technical peak of China's aviation industry, but also means a complete rewriting of the rules of future air war. It will become a key variable in reshaping the shape of the future war and lead the World Air Force in the development of a new trend of equipment. With the supporting loyal wingmen put into mass production in 2025, the Chinese Air Force is expected to be the first in the world to build a complete manned-unmanned, coordinated combat system, which is not only a leap in equipment technology, but also a revolutionary advancement in combat concepts, and will surely have a far-reaching impact on the pattern of air power in the 21st century.